Hey everybody, happy New Year's Eve and welcome back to another video. So today I don't really have a whole lot going on in terms of uh, brand new builds, but I just want to take a minute to update everybody on what's going on in the build process over here, uh, showcase a couple new things I've kind of done off camera, and then kind of give you an idea of what's going to be coming up in 2023. So uh, for starters, uh, for Christmas I got the new Fast and Furious Dom's Charger, and I got to build that. Uh, and uh, you know, overall, I think I was actually pretty pleased with it, to be honest. Uh, wasn't crazy about some of the sticker placements. They do use transparent stickers in this one this time around, and it works. Uh, it just doesn't look very good on this like back sill plate, but overall, I think they're really starting to step up their build techniques with these cars. I just wish that they would do more, um, maybe engage in more like realistic cars. They, they tend to focus on like supercars or now that they're doing these uh, movie theme builds, which which is fine. I mean, because obviously they sell quite a few, but in terms of what I'm into, they don't really offer a whole lot of like the JDM cars that I specialize in. So I wish they would kind of try some more of that. Um, Another thing is I got my wife the succulents kit from Lego for Christmas, and she just got done building that. And I think it's a pretty unique little build. She seemed to enjoy it, and I think it, it makes a nice little tabletop display piece, so that was a great gift for her. Uh, the other thing I've focused on is uh, I have rebuilt Shingo's EG. Uh, my first attempt at it, I wasn't really very wowed with it. It didn't quite look quite right like I was hoping, so I took another stab at it, and I have since redeveloped the EG into something I think looks a little more Honda Civic EG-ish, and I think Shingo is much happier with the result. Overall, I tried to smooth out the lines. Uh, getting the headlights in that rounded EG look it was the hardest part for the front end, but I think the end result looks phenomenally better than what we started with. So I'm happy to have that new model um, done as well. So one of the biggest changes you'll notice behind me is that I have redone the tall shelf uh, to incorporate the two new builds that Kata had sent. So that is the new tofu shop and the UC parking lot. So I put those in there and I have gotten rid of the other non-Japanese related collectibles that were there before. And as you move on to the long shelf, I have reworked the Wangan Midnight display. i uh, basically taken the roadway size in half and have now um, condensed it to just make it more of a display for the four Wangan Midnight uh, character cars and then still kept some of that uh, Shuto Expressway as part of the diorama. But that has opened up the entire bottom shelf for what I'm hoping will be another Cityscape similar in size to the initial D diorama that I've got on the top of this shelf. I've got a bunch of pieces on order for that. So that build is going to be coming up in 2023. Base of the layout is pretty much cemented and I'm just waiting for parts to show up so I can start those builds. I have a lot of unique things uh, planned for that. So I'm really excited for that to kick off once the parts start arriving. Um, other than that, I have a few other odds and ends I'm going to be touching up. I have some new wheels for a few cars that are coming as well as a couple other uh, small just micro builds that are I'm just planning for fun that I already had in the works before I committed to this bigger uh, diorama build and that I'll be showing in the next few videos. I can't wait to start kicking off uh, the new year with these brand new builds once the pieces start arriving. Uh, I know that there's, there's been a lot of delays with shipments, especially with parts coming from overseas, so it may take a little bit, but I'm excited to start getting into it and sharing it with everybody once the parts start arriving. So I hope everybody has a great new year, and I'll see you guys in 2023.